Hey what's up everyone, uh, we're back on to the fizzy and today hopefully we're going to get the tank painted. Now we're just going over this with some wet and dry, get the lacquer off so we should be able to peel these stickers off a bit easier. This is proving to be a pain in the ass. These stickers just kept breaking up into tiny little pieces as they come off because they've just gone old and brittle. And the fuels like seep through the lacquer over time and just affect it. And I've not pissed myself, but it's petrol. I didn't want to do that. My jeans are gonna stink now. Right, I cut out all the boring removing of the sticker bits because it was just a pain in the ass. It's been flatted down, it's now ready for some primer. Right, we've got the first coat of primer on now. Um, I'm gonna wait that, for that to dry. I'm gonna put another coat on. And then once the other coat is dry, I'm going to flat it back and then we can start putting some colour on. Um, as for the colour, I'm going to wait for you to see what it is. One hour later. Right, the second part of the primer was put on. It was flatted, scatter coated, flatted again. Like I say, the colour was being kept a secret. So I think now I can reveal the colour of what the fizz is going to be. Let's have a look. I've gone with, believe it or not, it's a Peugeot colour. A Travoli blue or Travolio blue or something like that. It looks a little bit matte at the moment. That's because it's got no lacquer on it. But that, the white stripes, I think is going to look bloody awesome. I didn't want to go with the white again. Because it's quite a dated style. Especially on the Yamahas, it's quite common. So I wanted to go with something my own way. I think I definitely have. So we're gonna let that dry. Then we're gonna put some lacquer on it. But in the meantime, while that's drying, we've got some plans for the fuel cap. Now, it could be just easy enough for me to buy a new one, but I don't want a chrome one on it. So I'm gonna flat it off, prime it, and we're gonna spray it a nice colour to contrast with the blue. So I'll move this tank, hopefully without dropping it, without the wind blowing it over too much, and then we'll crack on and change the colour of this. Right, what I've done on this, because it's chrome, I've gone with quite a coarse sandpaper. That focus, will that focus? We've gone with quite a coarse sandpaper, we've gone with a 220 on this to get the bit of an edge in it so the primer will uh, grip into it. That hole, that's just for a breather, that'll be put on afterwards. It did have a bung in there, but like I say, I know I could have bought a new nice shiny chrome one, but I, I don't want it to be blingy, I don't want it to be like an original bike, I want it to be my own. So hopefully, see if the primer sticks on this. Now, it seems to be that the primer stuck okay, so we're going to get the paint ready, we've got a nice colour for that, nice dark grey, we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> 